نجيب ابو كيل رئيس السلفادور شارك فيديو لنفسه بنفسه وهو بصراحه يعني خلينا نقول من غير تجميل للالفاظ يعني جالس بيرد بيفحم كده صحفي من البي بي سي سالوا عن طريقه حكمه وانتقدها We took the recipes from the European Union, we took the recipes from the United States, none of the recipes worked. More bloodshed, more people were dying. So what do we do? Okay, we do something and we save people. And now we're the safest country in the Western Hemisphere. But suddenly something's bad. Oh, but you shouldn't do that. You should do what I think you should do. Why? If it, not only we have the right to do what we think is right and the, what the Salvadoran people are going to decide whether or not they want this day in, in free elections, but also we've proven it works. And you haven't proven that your system works in our country. It might work in yours, I don't know. But it doesn't work in ours. It's like I told one time um, a member of the European Union, I know you, 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 you Brexited that, but I told a member of the European Union, you take your best government, choose your best government. I, I, know, I don't know what's your best, the best government in Europe, but you choose your best government. Same people, same talent, same experts, same will to do things the right way. You take your best government and you put them to govern Afghanistan and tell them, okay, you govern Afghanistan the same way you govern this European country. You'll be dead in a week. Because you cannot govern Afghanistan like you govern Europe. So stop trying to, to, to make us use your recipes because they don't work here. You have your, you have your own system. We're not, we don't tell you that you shouldn't have a monarchy. I mean, we're fine with your monarchy. We, we love your monarchy. It's fine. But we don't say, oh, you shouldn't have a monarchy and you shouldn't have hereditary titles. In, uh, why? Because it's your country. You can do whatever you want with it. But suddenly, we have to do what you want to do with our country. So but, but I'm gonna, what I'm going to um, finish the question is that this has been proven by all of you and by all independent sources. El Salvador was turned from the most dangerous place in the world to the safest in the Western Hemisphere. That's not a small feat. And that's not done easily. And nobody in the world has ever done it before, so fast and so clean like we have done it here, with no civilian casualties. So I don't know. I know it's different. I know the numbers from the UK and ours will be different for maybe a couple of decades. But we're doing our best here, and we're really trying. And the Salvadoran people today are going to vote freely in free and fair elections and in full democracy and choose their own path.